feeling of speaking about it. All the years of thinking, of doing, of planning, yes, and here it's finally coming to an end. From five minutes of intent, there will be no more opportunity to send any command to smart magazines in the population center. The team will be purely spectators. The data coming in is or just getting it out. That's the risk of exporting the first time in. So this is true both from an operational perspective and also an emotional one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, you can imagine. Um, you know, I've you know, been. I'm really excited about it. Now getting data for this mission for you know the last four and a half years that I've been in my current role, but this team has been working so hard on this for so many years, and they put so much of their energy and their time into this, and so much planning and rehearsing, and you know, it's uh, it, it's a it's a really big event for them to, as you say, just. Counting down and watching. At this point, there's not much else they can do but watch and see the fruits of all their work. And I have gotten to know many members of the team over the past few months, and you know, there's a lot of alpha individuals on there, right? We need a good mix of alpha people to make sure we get to this point. I can imagine. I can only imagine what you're feeling. I also can feel a little bit of relief, a little bit of panic as though I have worked for the team for so long, and now we can no longer do anything that kind of but I think they're ready. I think they're they're at that point. You know, I was we're we're getting some shots of Elena Adams, the uh, the systems engineer, and you can see the excitement in her voice. She's so ready to, to show the success of this mission. This is awesome. Five minutes out, which we're coming up on now. The team will be hands off two and a half minutes from impact. SmartNav, which has been guiding the spacecraft autonomously for four hours, will also step away, stop any maneuvers. DART will simply be coasting to its fate. This is blockbuster stuff, Lori. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are there. Yeah. And I have front row tickets, and we are very soon about to open up these airwaves in the Mission Operations Center. We'll stay plugged in all the way through impact. Remember, at this point, five minutes out, no more commands to SmartNav will be possible. The team is watching it just like you and me and the rest of us. Right, we've reached five minutes from impact. The final command opportunity to SmartNav has passed, and the team is simply watching that data stream in just like we are. Also remember, there is a 30 second, 38 second lag for the data to travel to Earth, and also an additional few more seconds for image processing. It's important to note that. should be hearing the chatter in the Mission Operations Center momentarily. This is DART MSC on DT Mog. Five minutes till impact. Five minutes till impact. We are at 1,100 miles away. <laughs> also, our window for sending any commands to the spacecraft is done. <laughs> Contingencies done. <laughs> this is a great vibe in that mission right. operations center right now, Lori. It really Ooh. is. Um, they are so excited. And this is investigation you know, I, on DT I'm honing in, looking, looking at these images as we get closer and closer, and you look at Didymos, and just you're starting to see the this physical body appear there. It's incredible. Just incredible. That great. I'm still having a hard time believing this is real energy coming in near real time. Yeah, yeah, but you've been watching it over the Four last, you know, 30, 45 impact. minutes go from just being a collection of individual pixels and now you can actually see the shape and the, the shading and texture of, of Didymos and we're going to see that same thing with Dimorphos as we get closer and closer. This is so cool. Never We're before so seen images of the morphos will be come into stark relief. Absolutely. Three seconds before Look. impact. Didymos. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. 
the team is standing just recognizing this moment years in the making. It is really nice to see them relax a little bit, get off from those computers that they've been glued to and just appreciate this moment that's coming. Yeah, and they've earned this. Um, it's just great to see them there. This is so cool. Lori, we hit another major milestone. We are now two minutes and a half from impact and SmartNav has stopped maneuvering the spacecraft. DART is now coasting toward Dimorphos and we hope into the history books. Absolutely. This will be, I'm sure you've heard it many times tonight, uh, humanity's first ever, ever attempt at trying to move another celestial body and also our first attempt ever to execute a, a mission in it, you have sole purpose of planetary defense. So what an exciting, exciting time. Yeah, and I'm starting to see Dimorphos start to come into view there. You can see it starting to take shape. I'm starting to see individual boulders on Didymos. Um, unbelievable, awesome. unbelievable Smart clarity of images We're there. Coasting on in. Our projected miss distance is going to be about 17 meters. All right. <laughs> All eyes on this event, space telescopes, ground telescopes from every continent on Earth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Two minutes out. Does not look like one single rock to me. Oh, boy, we're getting close. 14,000 miles per hour, Lori. 14,000 miles per hour. And remember, you know, uh, 45 minutes ago, 55 minutes ago, we couldn't even resolve this this object in space, and now we are, you can see us zeroing in right on target. And we're now dropping the clock and we'll go by loss of signal to confirm impact. Right. Yes. Imagine we'll get that loss of signal and then we'll hear from Lena Adams again, um, letting us know. I feel like we'll know. I feel like that'll be a crystal clear <laughs> signal. I think so. I think we're starting to see more uh, more resolution. In fact, look at that. Didymos has even gone out of the view. We're now just seeing Dimorphos. This is remarkable stuff. Oh my goodness, look at that. Looks like control system settling down. Angular rates look really good. I think we're going to get the investigation team some good pictures. Wow. No, no, come on. We can do better than that. <laughs> Starting to see those individual boulders there. You can see shadows uh, of the various rocks on the surface. Impact. It's amazing, guys. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Looks to me like we're headed straight in. Oh, my gosh. Woo. Oh, wow. Yeah. Eight, yeah. Seven, oh, six, wow. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Awaiting visual confirmation. All right. We got it? Waiting. Waiting. And we have an impact. A giant leap for humanity in the name of planetary defense. Woo. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Oh. What, what a moment. Very few words can really capture this moment. This is beautiful to watch. What a team. What, what a team and a what an accomplishment. Team. A few weeks ago, they had their last dress rehearsal. They were getting emotional at the dress rehearsal. And they're like, this is this is crazy. We're getting emotional. This is not the real thing. I can only imagine what they are feeling <laughs> right now. Yes. Well, you can see them there on screen. They're all pretty excited. Wow. Hearing impact, the curtains close on Draco feed. That raw joy from the team, years of hard work and the weight of expectation lifted off their shoulders. This is, this is amazing. Fantastic. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
This is beautiful. And Lori, really, yeah. this is a huge moment for the mission. Lots more work needs to happen in the days of these Absolutely. Months. Now, you know, as I always say, it's one of my favorite missions. Now is when the science starts. It just starts now. Now that we've uh, impacted, now we're going to see for real how effective we were. We're going to train all of those ground-based telescopes um, on the Didymos dimorphous system, and we're going to make measurements that will help us uh, determine just how, what its orbit looks like now relative to what it was before. So it's going to be great. Very cool. All right, this is when science, engineering, and a great purpose, planetary defense, come together. And, you know, it makes a magical moment like this. Yeah, really. absolutely. And you can see so many people there that have made this happen. Uh, the team of APL engineers um, that have really poured their souls into this mission. Lori, any last words to mark this historic moment? Oh, we're, we're embarking on a new era of humankind, um, an era in which we potentially have the capability to protect ourselves from something like a dangerous, hazardous asteroid impact. What an amazing thing. We've never had that capability before. Thank you so much, Lori. Those are poignant last words. Tahira. History has been made. Back to you. Wow. I